Who's played Earthworm Jim? Probably be quicker to ask who hasn't played Earthworm Jim, actually, considering it's a seminal DOS platformer. If you haven't played it, then it's available on GOG.com. Fantastic bit of game. And today we're going to look at a complete ripoff of Earthworm Jim by the name of, well, once I uh, start the game, you will know. Yes, indeed. This game is called Crazy Drake, and the already you can probably tell the design is an utter ripoff of Earthworm Jim. <sighs> okay, I haven't played this game in many, many years, so let's just. Okay, it doesn't actually tell you the keys. It just. Good grief! Fire, smart bomb, Z. Yeah, sure. This music's flipping boring, isn't it? Okay, so new game. What can we go everywhere? Already? Great, so we've got Fun Forest, Haunted House, Sci Fi Space, Slippery Snowland, Eerie Egypt, and Factory Frolics. Something I do like is the fact that each thing seems to sort of flow into each other, though not in a very intuitive way. I <sighs> guess we'll start in Fun Forest then. There's only one way to go about this. Now, this game is billed as a uh, non violent shooter. Uh, so non violent that you can't just kill anything. Nope, there we go. Have I got infinite ammo? Yeah, so aiming works exactly like an earthworm gym. Uh, I don't. There's no. Uh... Wow. Okay, the aiming's terrible. Actually, it's not exactly like earthworm gym. It's worse. Um... What was I going to say? There's no. There's no whip. There's no melee attack. Oi, that hurt. Really non-violent this game, isn't it? So there's no. None of the swinging on uh, vines and getting secrets and things like that. Good grief. Hitting things is so difficult in this game. In Earthworm Jim, it made it qu quite easy. How am I supposed to get up here? Oh, there we go. You have to hold up. Oh dear. It looks. It seems like I'm having to get a few hits on them before I kill them. Because yeah, I'm flipping killing them. Shut up. Non-violent, my ass. Um. But it's there's no visual indication that I'm actually hitting the, these things. So they're just seem to die and that's it. And this is a way to look down. That's quite entertaining, the fact that he uh, cowers when you uh, crouch. Oh my god, you can actually climb on ledges as well. Wow. Did they just find a copy of the source code for Earthworm Jim and think, oh yeah, we'll use that to make our crappy non-violent platformer that's actually really violent because the guy's shooting these stupid things. These things are dying. Look at them. That cute bug been they make the same noise every time you kill them the gun sounds weedier than a cardboard box hitting a newspaper oh come on you stupid duck the animation seems too fast what that what the hell is that okay so just throw me in there without any indication as to what to do thank you like the uh, Mario Brothers bonus then. It's the only thing I can think. You have plenty of time to do it, don't you? Although I have a feeling I'm not going to get every egg just because I've done this quite inefficiently. Uh, at this stage I might as well mention that this too came on the Galaxy of Games Red, distributed by eGames, and once again I had to download um, a cracked copy because it was laced with DRM that didn't run on this machine, thus I'm not going in there yet. Thus I'd wasted my money. Yes, I uh, believe that's illegal. Well, I hope it is now. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to get up there then? This music is dull. I'm going to find out how to get over there. The camera's pretty wonky as well. In that it seems to move around more than it should. Okay, what's in here? Need it. 
What the hell happened there? Um. Goodness gracious me. This game's pretty bad. I mean, it controls alright. <laughs> it actually feels good. The platforming feels good and that. But they just miss out on so many obvious things and it's a clear rip off of Earthworm Jim. With considerably less exciting themes and not not quite as much humour. Uh, the animation seems like uh, sort of them knockoff Looney Tunes things. Shark Pond, oh yes. I think I know where this is going. First of all, let's get rid of that. Can I even hit that thing? Am I supposed to be climbing on this? Oh, there we go. What is that? Uh, okay. I can't tell whether he's wearing a suit or whether his skin's just blue. Not skin, feathers, whatever. Oh no, I died. You know... <laughs> Something that I noticed is the fact that you don't seem to get any uh, health pickups, and also I'm dumped right back at the start of the level. I didn't. I, I, did I pick up any health pickups? I can't remember doing. Also, my score seems to have been retained. Well, that's all right. Ooh. And the FOV is horrible. This is a problem that Jazz Jack Rabbit had too. Something that Earthworm Jim didn't have though. <sighs> if you're gonna rip off a game, at least take the best bits off it. I suppose they kind of did. <laughs> Why can't you jump up to that platform? I think I might know why it's taking him so long to kill every enemy. Is the fact that he's firing with one hand and he's firing from the hip. Use two hands, man. Come on. Am I hitting these things? Maybe I was. Once again, I have to say, Earthworm Jim did it better because it had sort of pinging sound effects when you hit something. And it had little effects like smoke and things. Clearly showing that you'd hit whatever you'd hit. And if you hit a crow, for example, a crow will go, what? These things don't, they just sort of still fly around and don't even care. It's like a... Uh... Right, I couldn't see that, even when looking down. Was that a, a checkpoint? My god. So that was hidden then, because I must have run straight past that the first time. It's like the cloakers on payday, when you set them on fire they don't even care. These guys are the same. Critical existence failure I think it's called. So it seems like the closer you are, the quicker it, you kill them. This music is incredibly dull. Why do these things do so much damage to you? And why doesn't it give you any health? As I recall, Earthworm Jim, once again, um, gave you health pickups all the time. You couldn't move for health pickups. But in this, there are none. Unless them eggs are health pickups, but I don't. Did he just say, uh oh, I'm low on energy? You don't say. Except I could barely hear it. Oh dear. Yes, thank you. Sounds like the announcer from a Sierra game called RC Racers. Right, I'm gonna stay like this. Alright, what was I supposed to do there then exactly? Was I supposed to jump? I had two lives left and it's just nicked a life off me. Flipping hell. Well, don't call it hard mode for nothing. Let's try Haunted House. Let's not try Haunted House. Haunted House is a boring. Let's try Sci-Fi Space. Medium this time. Yes, thank you. Wow, this is the most generic flipping space thing you could ever have. It's like Duck Dodgers. Just boring. Okay, so these things are identical to them flies. But even worse, because they don't even have proper death animations. This guy's a duck. Why doesn't he have any duck-related powers? I can't imagine there are very many duck-related powers, but I mean, he could flap or something to make him... What the hell happened there? Uh... 
Alien trap. What? I swear I'm pressing. I'm pressing the button every time it's not jumping. Is this supposed to be funny? What? That killed me! Oh dear, what a generic robot. This is like every generic cartoon thing thrown into one, isn't it? I c what the hell? I could not see that thing. And it, it hit me from off the screen. And it took off most of my life. Oh dear, why bother having a health bar if you're just going to kill me with so few hits? Oh man, this is on medium difficulty as well. Usually I can play things on hard difficulty. I'm, I'm pretty decent at games like that. But good grief. This game is bad. And everything seems to be a bullet sponge as well. Oh yeah, it's really non-violent. What? Hang on a minute. Hey, hey. I'm just gonna pause there. <laughs> Extra time. Tell me. No, no, no. How am I supposed to? Oh, there we go. Can you see a timer on this screen? You know when a game tries too hard to be funny? No, come on, let's see another one now. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. <sighs> How am I supposed to... I hate this game. Oh! Eh, thank you. Oh, you again. Why have these poles if I can't climb up the poles? He's going against every gamer instinct. Also, them things don't telegraph their attacks. They just stand there and then instantly, straight away. No... Is this supposed to be a kid's game? What? Oh, right, I couldn't see that. Uh, this is like the worst of... Flipping Action 52. Well, maybe not that bad. I mean, come on. It's had some effort put into it. The animations are all right. In fact, I think the artists did a better job than the programmers. Am I hitting that thing? Yes, turns out I was. Ah! Oh, damn helicopters. Come on, you idiot. He seems incredibly cheery for someone who's nearly dead. Uh oh, low on health. Oh, sorry, energy. Alright, the megs don't give you any more health back. Helpful. Sorry, healthful. Ah. <laughs> uh. Also, I've not found any new weapons, which brings into question the uh, little pistol icon at the bottom right, which implies that you can get other weapons. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. 5,000 points. Why does he say it's so weird? I don't know whether you heard that. That's the shaker. Why is it just a sign suspended in the middle of nowhere? <sighs> I have no idea whether I'm hitting something. Imagine if in Metal Slug your bullets were invisible. Alright, that was my fault then. Uh, what? Hold on a minute. Wow! The checkpoint was right underneath one of them helicopters and it hit me straight away, taking away 15%. Oh dear. Go on then, let's get a haunted house out of the way. I'll probably die instantly. Wow, it's like uh, a Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 level. Actually, no, I'll tell you what it's like. Wow, is that supposed to be a picture of a vampire? It's not even got sharp teeth, you idiots. Um, this is like the bit on Earthworm Jim 2 when you're uh, on the first level when you find the bonus stage and you're in that house with the old grannies. Why are there so many pictures of this vampire bloke? I assume he's a vampire. Maybe he's a zombie. What do the points even do? It's not like they give me health. That's what I need. Wow. Do you think that they did that on purpose? 
the world's most boring zombie. A non-violent platformer, look! With zombies bleeding all over the place. Also, why is that coughing so happy? That's creepy. Oh yeah, they've played um, City Fighter on the pop station, haven't they? Also, he didn't telegraph his attack. <sighs> this game is deplorable. I hope I've used that word right, I don't even know what it means. <laughs> oh, just die, please. Open coffins. Alright then. That's the funniest thing that's happened in this game. They could have done a nice side response. What the hell is this? Oh, is this another weapon? No, I know what this is actually. There we go. I'm guessing that kills every enemy on the screen, but since the sprites are so massive and the field of view is so low, uh, that is an incredibly bloodshot eyeball. Oh, I found another another weapon that actually sounds like a weapon. Oh yeah, solid vines until you swing on them. Yeah, physics, everybody. Are these? Oh, I assume. Oh, that was a health pack. Why is the health pack so hard to find? Also, what? <sighs> right. You know what? I sent me jump key as space. Space is also the change weapon key. Except it doesn't tell you that. So I'm going to have to change my goddamn jump key. Left, right, up, down. Jump. What can that be? Well, I guess I'll set it to um, Rogue Legacy controls then. Thank you. Yes, they're okay. Yay. Yeah. I hate this game. So it's space to change weapons. I seem to have infinite ammo for the silver bullets. If this does damage, I'm going to be annoyed. No, it doesn't. But it says ouch in a very effeminate way. Oh, I've run out of silver bullets. There's no ammo counter! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh right, okay, the cacti. Cheers. I thought they were part of the background, to be honest. You know, because this telly is uh, part of the background. Why the hell would you have cacti in the middle of a house? Just come to think of it, why do you have so many painters of the same guy in the same house? Why do you have about a million grandfather clocks all with digital clocks on them? Because you, you, I mean, that, that's funny, isn't it? It's humour. This is like committee humour. That's what it is. It's a committee designed platformer. And it took them so long to, to, to have meetings as to how it should go that they forgot to actually program a good game. So they just nicked Earthworm Jim instead. No, I don't want to exit to DOS, so I just want to, you know what, I'm going to, because I've not died yet, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I didn't reach a checkpoint, it seems. Or did I? Was that lift a checkpoint? Ow, that hurt. Why does the uh, bat only do 14% damage? Why can you only get back to the map screen by killing yourself as well? And why do you only have two lives? What a random amount of lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just got two left. Why is there a, a, a... What the hell? Why did he die? I wasn't even shooting at him then. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry I keep pausing this, but the, the derision that comes from many of the design decisions that they've uh, come up with is just absurd. I mean, pressing escape on this menu thinks you want to quit the damn game for crying out loud. That's just a big no-no. Why are there statues of me in the background? What was that bird as well? Oh yeah, where's he got that string from? 
You know, goofy humor is supposed to be kind of subtle in its way. I mean, this slapstick, of course, which isn't subtle at all, but that that is done well. This this is trying to do subtle humor like Earthworm Jim, but fails miserably. Did I just say Earthworm Jim's humor is subtle? I don't know what I mean, but it, I mean it's it's kind of it's not overdone. That's what I mean. Subtle in that way, not as subtle as in uh, Monty Python subtle sometimes. You know, I can't think of any subtle comedies at the moment. Also, I ran into that guy and I couldn't see him. Again. Seems to happen a lot in this game. The enemies are considerably uninspired as well. And half of them don't have proper death animations. Oh, great, thanks. That was the best animated thing in the whole game. What is the deal with this guy in the lift? Oh, thanks. These bonuses are incredibly dull as well. Let's think about other bonus stages that we had. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog had the 3D bonus stage. Just Acrobat had um, a 3D bonus stage. The bonus stage in Super Mario Bros. 3 wasn't that a slot machine. Or am I thinking of... No, that's Mario Bros. 2. This 3D, the Super Mario Bros. 3 one. That was a um, the card game, wasn't it? Uh, just trying to think of other ones. See, there aren't, I haven't played that many games with proper good bonus stages. Which is unfortunate because I think they're cool. Oh, have I got every egg? Not quite. Can I get all of them? I must have all of them by now. Been everywhere. Well, there we go. The camera doesn't even move when you get pulled into the lift. Thanks. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. That way. Okay, thank you. What has this got to do with Egypt exactly? Oh. You've got these birds that don't seem to fit with a, a stereotypical Egyptian theme. You've got the stupid Egyptian people and mummies, but they're not really mummies because they're not even mummified. They're just people who are walking like zombies. Um, and the rest of it's just planks of wood. I mean, that guy's not a mummy, is he? Oh, I can climb on this bit. It's got a very Ghouls and Ghosts esque climbing animation. Oh. Thanks. Oh, get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. Please, get on with it. No. Final level, slippery snowland. Let's do this damn thing. Yes, I should have done it on hard and then I would have died. Alright, who's this guy? Oh, great. Have my controls reset? Why does he do that? This is worse than Arkham City. You won't hear me saying that a lot, but it's true. Oh yeah, generic birds again. Seems to be having a lot of those guys. Is this house anything? No. Can we even stand on it? No. Why does it go back and then back again? Who's this guy? Okay. I thought he was going to throw something at me, but he's not. He's just going to whack me with a sack. Except that time he didn't, he decided to ram, ram into me first and then hit me. Oh, God. Can I stop playing yet? Hooray! Silver bullets that don't seem to do anything. Nice. Yes, thanks for that, I hadn't noticed. What the hell? I keep getting hit by things I can't... Oh, you know what? Sod this game. This game sucks. I hate it. It's horrible. I used to play this as a kid. Even if it was only for a week. Uh, you know what? Screw this damn game. What the hell happened here?
Here we go, this is more like it. There we are, that's how you show people that they're being hit. Look how small these sprites are, and yet they still manage to be super detailed and really awesome. Look how fantastic this gameplay is. Look at this nice bit of humour here. Oh, no, I need to whip it, don't I? There we are. This is a real flipping shooter platformer thing. None of this stupid duck bull. <coughs> I did not mean to say that, I apologise. Oh well, I will beep it out, it's fine. Gosh. <laughs> Honestly, did not mean to say that. That's how bad. That's how bad Crazy Drake is. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Cheerio!